Welcome, Dave Perry here. We're going to talk briefly about promoting your blog. You've done a great job at uh, writing your post and uh, putting your heart into it. Now we need to get noticed. The Probably the, the simplest and the easiest method is social bookmarking, and it's built right into the release of blog that you're using. So let's get right to it. Why should I social bookmark? Well, our blog is a, basically a web page, and it sits on the internet. Now, nobody knows you from Adam, so you know Google is not going to come and look at you. Uh, any of the other uh, uh, search networks aren't going to look at you because you don't rank very high in their eyes. So what you want to do is get your links out on sites that have very high page rankings. Those sites happen to be the social bookmarking and the social networking sites. So there's a number of sites such as, as, as you can see here, such as Dig, and Delicious, uh, Facebook, StumbleUpon, Technocrati, and there's literally hundreds more. So what we want to do is we want to go out to those sites and leave our links on those sites. Those links point back to our blog. What does that do for us? Well, when Google or Yahoo comes along and indexes uh, Dig or Delicious or Facebook, they'll see your link. Your link points back to your blog. Google will follow that link and find your blog and Google or, or Yahoo or any of the search engines will then index your blog and you will have a chance at that point of getting onto the search engine uh, search page. Now what happens when you do multiple blog postings? Number Your second post, third post, hundredth post. Well every time you do the post you're going to go out to these sites and you're going to bookmark it. And after a period of time, you end up with this massive spider web of links spread all over the web, and people are going to stumble upon them, <laughs> to, to use the uh, name of, of one of the bookmarking sites. Uh, the more bookmarkers you have out there, the more likely somebody's going to find you, and that's a very good thing. So let's go into the blog and f have a look and see how we actually do this. Here we are at my Balance Quest blog. Uh, I've just uh, made several new postings and we're going to bookmark these. Now first of all I'd point out uh, this blog post on December 11th has a great video uh, from uh, uh, Perry Belcher on why we should be going out to the social networking sites. Good article. But we're not here to talk about that. What we're here to talk about is, is social bookmarking. So this uh, release of WordPress blog that I have uh, set up for you already has the bookmarking uh, widget installed on it. So all you need to do is, is go on to the post. Uh, you want to click on the bookmark and up will come a very large number of uh, bookmarking sites. Now you need to pick maybe five to ten of these uh, that you're comfortable with and that that post the type of material that your that the topic of your blog is about. Uh, for this demonstration I'm just going to go to dig. So we click on dig you'll see it's contacting dig. Now the first thing it's going to ask you for is to set up a new account. So you can go in and set up your account uh, with your password and, and so forth. It's going to ask you some questions. It may ask you to go uh, confirm your registration through your email. You can go through that. You'll only have to do it the first time. Now I'm just going to go in and log in since I already have a uh, an account here and I can't uh, can't talk and type at the same time. But here we go, so we're going to log in. 
And now what it's saying is it's digging through our submission. So it will have automatically uh, taken the, the title and so forth from our blog and put it up here. Now we're going to have to type a, a description. And uh, in fact, I'm just going to go down here uh, and just pick the last sentence right here of my blog post. That summarizes it quite nicely. I'll go back and I'll put it up here. Now, I'm going to make sure I've, I've put that on the clipboard. Control C would do that or uh, right click copy. Because when I go and do other sites, I'm going to use this same text. So now it's going to ask me if I want to uh, uh, save a thumbnail. Well, I'm just going to sneak this, uh, my Carbon Copy Pro uh, thumbnail in here. Oops. Uh, we're going to pick technology and software. Most of these sites have a, a list of, of topics. Choose the closest one uh, to what your topic is about. Now, most of these sites, to prevent automated uh, access to them have some kind of CAPTCHA. So you want to uh, carefully read these letters and you need to type them in here. E2 and we can submit. Now on DIG they check for duplicates. Uh, they're going to give you a list of stuff and uh, ask you, and there, there's, our, there's our post here, and possible duplicates. Um, well, actually, there is a duplicate because I've already posted this once before. But let's just go down and, and, and complete this. So we say totally original. And success. Your story has been submitted. So we're done. So we just click off that and then we can go to the next one. Uh, we can go to delicious, let's say. And it's going to come up and ask for our username and password. We enter that and away we go. A lot of these sites will remember your username and password for an hour or two. So you can, you can go through this pretty quick. Uh, so I would recommend that you do five to ten of these and uh, get into the habit. Every time you make a new post and publish it, go in and bookmark it. And you will be amazed and how much traffic is going to come across your site through these social bookmarkings. Now, one other thing I would like to point out here. When you set up 4, 5, 10, or 20 of these sites that you're going to bookmark, you're going to forget the passwords and the user IDs. Get into the habit of having a notebook and writing these things down. Uh, not just for the social bookmarking sites, but for the social networking sites and uh, the other pieces of software that you have uh, password and, and user IDs for. Write them in one notebook and keep it, because if you're like me, you can't remember these things. And unfortunately, they won't all take the same password and user ID. So that's it for today. So I'd like to again point out my, my blog's at uh, thebalancequest.com and my business is davidbperry.com and I'd love to see you over there sometime. Take care.